Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. Today we are back in virtual reality world. And have you ever thought, what is it like to feed the snakes here at the Reptarium? Well, guess what? You guys are gonna feed the snakes today and we're gonna start with Sunrise. Of course, we're gonna go ahead and feed Sunrise first. She's a two year old, nine foot albino Burmese python. And she is quite an interesting snake when it comes to feeding. You can see she's already like, all right, I can smell the food. I know I'm getting fed. So you have to be careful for sure. You gotta keep your arms away from this guy. Whoop. Ah, oh, there we go. Good job, Sunrise. She looks absolutely amazing. And I tell you what, guys, it's not gonna take her any time whatsoever to get this rabbit right down. She'll just eat it in one gulp. She digests the fur, the bones, and everything. How amazing was that? Did you enjoy feeding your first snake? Sunrise is such a beauty, but don't worry if you enjoyed it. We've got a ton more to continue to feed. I think we're gonna go ahead and feed Night Fury. This is a golden child, motley reticulated python. Woo, there it goes. Took it like a champ. Again, pretty awesome, right? We're gonna move on to my girl Perdita here. Now at the Reptarium, we really only feed frozen thawed animals. So we have a couple more rabbits to go. Perdita is up next. Okay, Perdita. She's just coming out of shed. So we'll see if she wants to eat or not. Come on, girl, you ready? I'm just gonna wake her up a little bit, see if she wants to eat. There you go, girl. Hello, waking up. There you go, baby. Whoop, there you go, over here. Here you go, here you go. Ah, there you go, Perdita. Woo, she is looking beautiful. That's gonna be really good for her. You guys ready? Next up is my black-eyed leucistic reticulated python, Casper. He's usually a pretty energetic striker, so you never know what's gonna happen. Should be pretty exciting. He is starting to go into shed though, just barely starting to go blue. So he may or may not eat, but let's go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, Casper, you ready, buddy? Did you see that? Woo. Casper, it's okay, bud. You wanna to try to eat? Okay, Casper definitely is not interested in food. You can see he's just starting to get blue in his eyes, which basically just means that he is ready to go into a molt or a shed. So we're gonna leave him alone and move on to Ricky. And now we're actually stopping at Ricky here. And, and just so you guys understand that I love snakes and I love feeding snakes, but I always say I don't take pleasure in the fact that animals are eating animals per se. You know, I wish it wasn't that case, but snakes eat rodents and rabbits and stuff like that. Now, Ricky is an albino dwarf reticulated python. He's a jampea. He's about seven years old and he is high energy. When he strikes, it's gonna be crazy. So the fact that we're feeding together, uh, buckle up. And if you have any like health problems, uh, you might want to look away right now, okay? So what do you say we do this and uh, hope for the best? Woo! Oh, ah, there he goes. Woo! Tell what, Ricky? You are crazy. That boy is absolutely insane. Love him though. He's so beautiful. Uh, he's going to love this meal. And that concludes the rabbit part of this feeding journey. Are uh, you ready to feed some frozen rats off? This animal is a white lip python or Dialbers python. Has a pretty aggressive strike. So we're going to take out the tongs here just so that we stay safe. There you go, buddy. Whoa! Whew. I told you that guy. He strikes hard and he strikes fast. Wow, that thing is gorgeous though. Taking a real quick break from feeding, just so that you guys that aren't as familiar with the actual way snakes eat, uh, most of you probably do know, but I'm gonna go ahead and inform the rest of you. Snakes typically eat about every seven to 10 days. We feed here at the Reptarium every seven days. Now, some snakes will eat a little bit more often if we feel they need a little bit more food, and things like Lucy in the wintertime will often only get fed about every two weeks, but during the summertime, she's eating once a week. Just so you guys know, this goes on every single week here at the Reptarium. This next snake we're feeding is named Sunfire. It's a reticulated python. And much like Ricky, she has a very long, very intense bite. So uh, buckle up and let's hope we don't get bitten. Here we go, Sunfire. Here we go, girl. Oh, here she comes. Whoa, geez. 
She kind of surprised me on that one, but she definitely took it. Whew, that's a sketchy snake. Next up is actually Sunny, the pastel piebald ball python. She's about a year old. She's usually a really good feeder. She eats frozen thawed small rats. Come here, girl. You ready? You hungry? There she goes. There you go, sweetie. Oh. oh, there she is. Good job. Way to go, honey. This is actually Snowflake, a leucistic Texas rat snake. Here we go, girl. You interested? My food? Come on. My food? Here it comes. Here it comes. There she goes. Hoo -hoo. I love it. Next up is actually a children's python, a small python from Australia that typically only gets about three foot long. So these are truly small apartment sized pythons, but they typically are really good feeders. Here you go, bud. Here you go. Ready? Oh, look at it. It's ready. See that fast tongue flick? That usually means that they want to eat for sure. Come on, little buddy. Come on. You ready to eat? Sometimes you have to do a little teasing with these guys just to get them to take the food. Come on. It's a little tease feed as I call it. So if you kind of rub it on them like this, then all of a sudden they just grab it and coil it like that. There you go. Way to go, buddy. We actually have an Amazon tree boa in this cage. There he is right there. His name is Lucky. We'll see if we can get this guy to eat for us. Come on, Lucky. Come on, buddy. Whoop. Gotta move away these branches a little bit. Okay, there we go. Perfect. See him right there? Here he comes. Oh, there he is. Come on, buddy. Oh, there he's got it. Perfect. This is actually Mr. Nubbins. He's a Dominican red mountain boa. He's not super aggressive, so you don't have to worry about crazy strikes. We just have to kind of tease him a little bit, find his head. Here's his head. Right over here. Come on, buddy. Come on. You, I know you smell it. There it is. There it is. There. That's it. And that's basically it. Pretty cool little animals. What's interesting about the Dominican Red Mountain Boas is those are the ones that you may have seen that sit at the front of caves and then dusk when the bats start flying out of the caves, these guys actually pick them off right out of the air. They're really a cool animal and it's awesome that we have one here at the Reptile Zoo. This is actually Maze, the corn snake. And he always loves to hang out in that little hide up there. But let's see if he wants some food. Maze, you want some food? Oh yeah. He wants food for sure. And he'll literally just drag it right back up into that cave and eat as many as I want to try to feed him. Hey, welcome to the Reptarium. That's right, it is open and it is packed and tons of people are here. And that means that we're gonna go ahead and feed some big snakes. We're gonna start with Lucy, go to Butterscotch and Daisy. Should be a good time. What do you say? We go do this. What do you guys think? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna feed butterscotch now, but I'll be honest with you, it's a little bit too sketchy uh, for you to get really close for me. So I'm gonna have you just kind of be part of the audience on this one. And uh, hopefully with any luck, I'll be able to throw it up and she might even catch it out of the air. Oh, what is she doing? Well, she didn't catch it out of the air. She was a little bit hesitant, but she still came out pretty good. What a great, great snake. Next up is my girl, Daisy. To be honest with you, she's not always super enthusiastic. So sometimes she's just like, oh, ah. but she looks like she's pretty interested today. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Okay. Oh. There she goes. Good job, Daisy. You did so good, girl. I don't want a pet. <laughs> And I absolutely love when we feed the big snakes when it's open to the public, because again, we get to see this all the time, but for other people to experience, it's absolutely incredible. Hey, these guys are actually gonna feed Abasuku the Night Nile Monitor, which is pretty energetic. Uh, I think that'd be a great opportunity for you guys to kind of join in and see how awesome it is. Okay, you can go ahead. 
Okay, next up, I'm gonna do a little dance. Come in, come on, up, 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 up. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Good job, Abasuku. Come over here. Go ahead. Big, big thing, go ahead. Abasuku, want to come up my leg? Want to come up my leg? Come on, come on. Climb a little bit for me. Climb a little bit. Okay, there you go. <laughs> okay, up is Shuku. Here you go. Come on. Can you come up on this rock? Come up on this rock, baby. Up here. Up here. Up here. Up here, all the way up. Come on. Okay, and then you could feed now. Okay. And now we take the ball away, which is the trigger item for it to basically know that it's being fed. And you can see Bruce over here can actually even pet Abasuku now because Abasuku realizes that there's no more food. Good job, Abasuku. Way to go, you did great. I hope you guys enjoyed the VR feeding like you were kind of there. Let me know in the comments how you felt about it. If you like that, here's another feeding video over here and an entire playlist of feeding if you'd like to check that out. While you're at it, hit that subscribe right over here. Turn those post notifications on, be kind to someone, and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.